OBS Studio is having a massive update that's super important to look into if you're a YouTube streamer as it'll make life a lot easier for you. All you need to do to get access to this brand new update is update OBS Studio if you haven't already. Inside of OBS Studio, click help followed by check for updates. At the time of recording, this is still a beta feature that's coming with the next major update, but you can try it out right now. In order to get the beta version of OBS Studio, though do keep in mind there may be bugs should you switch to the beta version and of course it's more there to test it out and help OBS improve their software so don't think it's perfect just yet unless you're watching this video in the future. For now to enable the beta version of OBS Studio head across to file followed by settings and under the general tab you'll find the updates section. Change it from stable to betas slash release candidates selected and OK. Now that we've changed the release channel, simply click help and check for updates again. This time around, we should see OBS Studio 30 Beta 1. There'll probably be a few more of these before the full release, but now we can go ahead and test this out. All you need to do is click update now, assuming you're not already recording. So upon updating and restarting, you can see things already look different. We now have the YouTube Live control panel right over here. You can minimize it or move it around simply by grabbing it. You can also redock it by dragging it to a section that you can dock it to. And this is where we'll start by signing into Google. If you don't have this window at all, you can reopen a dockable window simply by heading to Docs followed by YouTube Live Control Panel. Now that we've enabled this, we'll need to go ahead and log in. So I'll go ahead and do that now. There we go. Now that we're signed in, we now have a YouTube Live Control Panel available on our screen. To get started, start streaming on your streaming software, which is right behind us. If we click the three dots, we can select to stream here. And of course, if you have any planned live streams, you can select them here. Now at this current point in time, this only works with your default or primary channel that you log in to when you sign into your Google account. So this may not work for me, but I think I may be out of luck here to test this early. If you sign into your account and you're dropped straight into your creator channel, then this is going to work for you. Essentially, it'll give you a live view of how many viewers you have, etc. So let's go ahead and try it. We'll go to settings, stream, and see if we have the correct thing selected. We do. We've got primary YouTube. We'll connect our account to him. And after we've linked an account, we should hope Hopefully be able to go live. Ah, there we go. Cool. We've also got a chat window available here. As soon as we go live or once a broadcast is being created, our live chat will appear here. Private broadcasts are not supported. So maybe we can use this with an unlisted live. I'm not entirely sure, but let's see. To start streaming, let's go ahead and manage broadcast on the far right hand side. We can set some information about what we're streaming, but for now, I think I'll leave it mostly as is and change it to unlisted. Then we'll leave everything else as is and create broadcast and start streaming immediately. Otherwise, you can create the broadcast and start streaming later. So it's busy creating and now we should be logged in. You can see your streaming software channel does not match. That's because the channel that I posted this on here is obviously not the default. But anyways, you can see this here. I have a chat window where I can type things and send messages and it should show up on YouTube. Obviously, you'll see your live chat scrolling through here. But this brand new YouTube live control panel is where we'll see a lot of interesting things. If we head across to the live control room for this broadcast on YouTube, you'll see this here, but we have the same chat as we do in OBS Studio. But on top of this, we also have this section here with analytics for concurrent views, chat rate views, etc. A nice graph. This is the information that'll show inside of OBS Studio now, so you don't need an extra window open on another monitor or another device it's built right here into a dock inside of OBS Studio. This is huge. Obviously, when this comes out for a full release, it will properly work and you can choose between whatever brand or channel on your account. It won't be just set to one and that's that. As far as I understand, they are working with YouTube directly, so this should be a pretty speedy process, especially because most of the groundwork has already been done, so it seems. This is super exciting as it's really nice to have it built in here. On top of this, something else added in OBS 30, currently still a beta, we have full height docs here. So if we enable this, we now have our YouTube control panel in a full separate section on the extreme right side of OBS Studio here. We can obviously move it around, but we can also add the chat window if it let me dock it somewhere. Maybe 
not. Maybe I need to be live for that to work. But anyways, we should be able to dock it to the extreme left or whatever as a full height dock. It's no longer limited to just quarters or sections. Super, super exciting. Anyways, that's really about it for this super quick guide. It's really exciting to see functionality like this coming to OBS Studio, not to mention UI improvements. There's some more information down here in the bottom right about our current stream, recording, etc., as well as whatever bandwidth and the rest was showing when I was live. I wasn't paying too much attention, but that's where you'll find a bunch of new info. It's a super important update for OBS Studio and YouTuber live streamers. It's really exciting to have this kind of development as it should make life quite a bit easier if that's one of your platforms of choice. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.